Hi everyone, this is Jared Lantern, and I'm here with a haul video for you. Um, this is from a store, an online uh, retailer called LTD Commodities. Uh, kind of stumbled upon the store uh, looking for a Halloween shower curtain. Um, and in the midst of doing so, um, had some pretty cool shower curtains actually. Um, but I noticed they also had some uh, smaller Halloween um i wouldn't say props more like just uh decor items all pretty cheaply priced um and you know when it comes down to quality i'm not sure but um we shall see this is um uh, everything came in one shipment i ordered it about a week ago and i got it um uh, i think it took about six days to receive um we're so spoiled with amazon we get things, you know, within 24 hours sometimes, and when you figure out that other uh, retailers still take about a week to ship, you're just like, oh my god! And actually, I kind of forgot some of the things that I had ordered. So, um, but it did come with an invoice, and I was able to, you know, jog my memory as to uh, what it was in the package. But now, within the large box it came in, we have all these smaller boxes to open up. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the first one that I took out of the box is something that I kind of purely got out of uh, curiosity because I know that they sold similar um, ones like this on Grandin Road and much like anything on Grandin Road everything is really ridiculously overpriced. Um, and this is one of those skeleton arm stakes. Uh, this was the uh, rock and roll hand, uh, arm. With the rock sign uh, I thought these were um, kind of cheesy um, but seeing as I'm gonna be doing an all front yard only display this year I'll most likely be um, doing a cemetery scene so I thought maybe there's some sort of deceased um, rock star that I could use this for um, just to please the the neighbors now this was only five bucks from this particular store and I know the ones from Grandin Road were going for about like 40 now I can't guarantee that they're the same material I can't guarantee that they're the same size um, I'd have to look at closely at both descriptions but this one you could tell that it's basically just a uh, plastic skeleton hand that's been um, uh, melted to form that shape um, and bent in that direction so if you're you know if you have any ideas of any ways that you want to bend skeleton um, hands here's an obvious way to do one but I thought for five bucks you know it's pretty durable feeling um, it does come with a stake that um, can be bent into certain directions as you can see um, and so yeah, I, you know, probably will use this somewhere in my display this year. Can't guarantee it, but there it is. And the next uh, item that I opened up, these actually, that stack of boxes that you saw over here, uh, were, uh, one was contained in each box here. So those four boxes basically were four of these. And these were a set, or I'm sorry, not a set, but I bought them to make a set of four um, of these clawing hands there's actually they were called clawing and grabbing and I thought I had opened up two different boxes to show the difference between but um, really the differences were subtle I think like the fingers were in a more closed position for the grabbing and I guess these are called the, the clawing hands nonetheless these were um, I believe $6.99 a piece uh, they are ceramic, so they're pretty um, durable and heavy duty. Um, funny thing is, right after I placed my order, uh, two um, reviews popped up on the website that I ordered these from, and they were not very favorable, and they were actually both one-star reviews. So I took a look at the one-star reviews, and one of them said that the little 
keyhole hangers right here that they have on the wrists where you're supposed to um, you know put a nail or a screw it says that it does not work really well and they had actually tried to put um, this on the wall it fell and then being that it is ceramic in nature it uh, I guess like a few br uh, fingers broke uh, broke off don't know if that's really the fault of the manufacturer or the store itself um, but I guess you just have to take proper precautions if you are going to hang this up um, and then the other um, complaint the other one star review said and this one I actually kind of agree with that the colors were not true to um, to the actual uh, or the actual hands were not true to the color that they had promoted on the website and actually here's a picture of what they look like on the website so as you can see on the website they were more kind of like flesh tone flesh color and these are um, almost on the verge of like a really dark like like the review said like on a dark green um, which will work great for like if you're doing like a witch hand type of a thing um, I guess color really isn't important to me what I was gonna do was basically use these for um, putting together a welcome sign for my haunt and have the name of my haunt in the middle of kind of like a wooden plaque sign and then have these hands uh, all around the uh, the name of my haunt so I thought that would be just kind of like a cool entrance piece even if, even if it's not for this year um, I would definitely want to do it for next year um, in terms of uh, in terms of quality I think they're they look nice um, they have really good attention to detail like on the veins of the hand on the back of the hand um, and now that I realize that I think the only difference between clawing and grabbing is the position of the hanging part as you could see this would make you hang it for the hand to be um, kind of like right side up and this one would be it would have to be that way so that's really the only difference I guess between the two um, but I like them you know they may not be exactly true to the color uh, that they were advertised as but quality as it is and for the price that they were um, I'm pretty happy with them I will say for uh, this store everything is very well packed um, and I, I I knew I was getting a lot of breakable possible possibly breakable items and so far knock on wood everything so far has been um, pretty nicely and tightly packaged um, but here is on to the next item so here is the the next item um, this is actually one that I kind of bounced um, back and forth on between this witch or there was one obviously my go-to is a jack-o-lantern uh, the jack-o-lantern version of this particular item just kind of weird um, the face was like a little too um, like distorted and his hands were kind of like up like trying to like I don't know it just if you look at the I'll put a link in the description box if you see it you'll know what I'm talking about but um, it just looked kind of cheesy um, but you know I love all Halloween creatures equally I don't discriminate I love witches too so um, this one I thought was pretty cool this reminds me of something that you would see at Michael's and you'd be like oh that's really cool I like that and then you turn it you know right you know on its uh, to, to look at the price and it would be like 50 bucks simply because it lights up um, I believe this was only 10 bucks and I think that's a pretty good deal for um, that's a nice little figurine um, you know attention to detail is not the best uh, looks like she's holding a bottle of booze I think it's supposed to be like a potion or poison <clears throat> now I will say this flame in her cauldron is supposed to light up that's like the main feature of it um, and I was all prepared with my uh, AA batteries only to figure out that it only takes AAA and which I do not have so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to show you it light, uh, lit up but 
you kind of get the feel for what it would look like. Um, again, a nice little ceramic piece. Um, stands about, I would say, eight inches tall or so. So this will go somewhere, um, the corner of a table or something. I really want to get a uh, collection of all types of Halloween uh, creatures going. I know I've focused for the last decade on jack-o'-lanterns, uh, but I'd really like to get a lot of different kinds going. But anyway, this is the witch. I believe, like I said, the other one was a uh, jack-o'-lantern. I think the other one was a... I'm going to be wrong on this, but I'm going to say skeleton. But anyway, I have one more item to show you guys, and that'll be it. And lastly, I picked up this larger witch. Uh, this is this is the closest thing to uh, a prop that I picked up um, from this particular <coughs> shop. <coughs> Excuse me. And this was, um, I want to say 15 as well. Or 15, I don't know what else was 15. But... Um, this was, uh, it really reminded me of like those vintage small witches that you always find like at yard sales and stuff. That they're not, you know, they're obvious, and this is obviously not life size. Woo, watch out there. This is obviously not life size. Um, but those witches that they just sit on a broom, um, you, you, you always know what the voice uh, soundtrack's going to sound like. It's always the same. If it's not the same voice, it's always the same um, background noises. I'm sure there's going to be a cat sound in there. And they always say something about tricks and treats or something like that. I could be totally wrong. Um, the good thing is, and then we, they always have the cheesy little uh, light-up eyes for the eyeballs there. Um, the good thing is, I do have, this does run on AA batteries, which like I said, I do have. Um, but it's, I guess it's slightly animated as well. I think the broom, the back side of the broom does move slightly. So, um, this is straight out of the package. So it just does not look, she's not in her finest, um, look right here. My wife is, um, she's the expert in kind of fixing up my props to make their clothes look, um, more suitable to the character. Um, but just taking a look, you know, this is not a prop that I would normally, but I don't know why I bought this. Honestly, I really don't. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I had Halloween fever, I guess. And I really wanted to, um, purchase it. Um, but just the hands, you know, teeny tiny little skeletal hands there. Um, plastic, um, plastic for the broom, plastic for the head. Um, and I think the rest of it's kind of like just styrofoam and um, uh, cloth. So let me go find uh, the infamous teeny tiny screwdriver and the batteries and we'll see her uh, in action. <laughs> 